Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. Today, I'm going to show you how to get Web Dim Pro working on a trial SAP system. So, first thing, you want to make sure that you're on the same trial SAP system that I'm on. The host name is VHC AL NPL CI. It is ABOP Application Server 7.52, Service Pack 04. We can actually log in real quick here to the SAP system. Go into System, go into Status, and I'll just show you guys this so you can make sure that you're on relatively the same trial system that I'm on. But you actually, this, this will probably apply to uh, other systems, other trial systems as well if you're running into trouble. So we can look at our installed product versions. So you should have something similar to this, you know, very close to this. So the first thing to do is we actually have to in activate the nodes for Web Dim Pro and Transaction SICF. SICF is the Internet Communications Framework Transaction. And we can actually go in here and just skip selection screens, execute. And if we expand default host, we'll see all these different nodes. Each one of these nodes is going to have a leaf node somewhere down the line. What am I in? So we'll see Web Dim Pro, all the services underneath it. We can actually click on a parent node to activate a service and its children, or click on each individual node. So this is the first thing that you're going to need to do. Um, I actually found this article on the web on uh, help.sap.com about all the active services you need for Web Den Pro and installing this trial system. This this wasn't actually um, whenever I got you know I, I had to Google for this and I had to, <laughs> to do a pretty extensive Google query to to get this. But um, it shows you all the different nodes that you're going to need for Web Den Pro development that you'll need to enable. So I will put this in the and of course there's some note SAP notes about it. You can uh, you know check these. To, for any additional information but I'll put this in the video description the link to this it, it always changes you know SAP is constantly rearranging doing different things with URLs so this may be a dead link by the time you get to it but you know hit up Google say hey Google how do I activate web Dim pro in trial system and then whatever your trial system host name is will probably bring up what you're looking for after a little bit of digging so I'm not going to go through and show you each of those because it was a quite a few amount of nodes, but we we just go in here, right click it, and click activate service, and that's it. There's nothing too crazy about it. There was some under SAP BC, some under SAP Public BC, Web Dem Pro node down here. Make sure you right click it, click activate. So once you've done that, then you've activated the Web Dem Pro service. So you you think, okay, I can go ahead to transaction SE80 and make a Web Dem Pro. But um, I found that in my system, and let me give you a little background on my system landscape here. It's one system, NPL is the server. Um, it's a trial system that's running on a server in my, uh, in, you know, in my house. That server is not on this current PC that I'm using to record this video. It's actually just a server in another room. But I have port forwarding enabled on the server, so I, I should theoretically be able to reach everything on that server. So I should be able to reach the, you know, I mean, that's why I'm reaching SAP <laughs> using the GUI right now. And I should theoretically be able to reach uh, Web Dim Pro. So in this test Web Dim Pro application that I've made here, it's like the most basic thing you could do. It says, Hello Web Dim Pro. And you see right there that actually pops up. Now, if you didn't have web Dim pro service enabled you get a 404 right here and i can actually simulate that really quickly and then i'll explain what i'm doing after i do this so go back into se80 look at our web Dim pro open up views go to main and i should well it's going to work for me now <laughs> anyway you you typically get a 404 error here something wouldn't be you know right here so if you are getting that 404 error here and whenever you go to visit the url of your web dim pro so let's just copy this url i'll open a new private chrome tab so that i'm able to um not have any cookies or anything like that saved from you know past logins 
go ahead and paste it in here. See so connection is not private. Proceed. So typically this would not show up. You get a 404 here as well. So what I actually had to do to overcome that was add an entry and I did oh I didn't save this. Let me save this. And now you should be able to see the errors I was getting. I thought I saved there guys. My bad. So we'll back out of that transaction. Go to SE80. Go to views. Go to main. And then the layout tab. Well, it's going to make a liar of me one more time. <laughs> so I've commented this out. Um, let's explain what that is. I guess since I can't replicate the error that I was getting anymore, it's probably just some cached network setting here or something going on with Windows. Just want to take this. I'm actually getting to it now with no issue. So before I was getting a 404 when I went to a WebDim Pro application URL and in these views in the layout editor I was getting a 404 here as well so that's pretty typical when you first boot up your trial system because your web dim pros number one not going to be activated in transaction SICF we just activated all our things in transaction SICF so that's not the issue but an issue that a lot of people run into is they can't actually resolve that host name VHC AL, uh, AL NPLCI so what I've done here in my Windows hosts file, this is the way you get to it, C drive, Windows, System32, drivers, at C, and the file is hosts. It's a plain text file with no file extension. Just open it with your favorite um, text editor, Notepad, if you don't have any other text editor. I'm using Notepad++ just because it's my favorite plain text editor. And you're going to add a line like this. At the very bottom, after all these pound signs, you're going to come over to the same column where it's got it here. You're going to add the host name of your server. And I guarantee if I go to command line and ping VHC AL NPL CI. Well, it's actually not going to find it now. <laughs> VHC AL NPL CI. So typically you could actually, you know, if, if everything was resolving the way that it should, you could ping this and you would see reply from this. So this IP address here is the IP address of the server that I have running the SAP ABAP application server. So what you're going to do is add an entry like this, add the IP address, space on over, and add the host name, which is down here at the bottom of NetWeaver, and an entry like this. I'm going to go ahead and save your hosts file which will require administrative access to do that. So don't think you can do this just on your own if you're on a work PC and you don't have admin because you're going to need that. So now let's see if we can actually ping it. I don't know. C-A-L-N-P-L-C-I. So now I'm getting a response. I ping that host and I'm getting a response from that IP address that I've defined in my hosts file. So that's good. Now when I make a web dim application which this was working anyway. I guess there's some cached thing in a SAP, something similar to a host file maybe. So go to layout, go to change. I get all of the web dim pro um, controls here that I can use. And if I actually click on the web dim pro application itself, right click it, click test. I can see my web dim pro application pop up that says hello web dim pro. So now I know that web dim pro is indeed working for my trial SAP system. If you guys have any questions, you can't seem to get the same behavior, can't get it to work, let me know. Leave me something in the comments, shoot me an email, and I will try to uh, make a video detailing what it is that you need to do. So, Thank you all so much. Like I said, um, I'm going to put a link to that help article, that SAP help article, that shows all the different services. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then the one thing again that you might want to try is modify your Windows host file to point that VHCAL NPLCI host to the IP address of the actual ABAP application server on your network. Again, if you're at work or something like that, or uh, you're not a network admin, do check before you start modifying your host's file because you might get an angry phone call. So definitely check that out. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next videos. Thank you so much for watching.